Hello, my name is Nick Carroll, and today I'm feeling very refreshed. So two weeks ago, I received a notification that my 2012 Nexus 7 tablet received the over-the-air update to Android 5.0 Lollipop. So I took a minute to compose myself, then I went ahead and installed it. And after about an hour total of doing the update and everything, it was done and I, let, I was left with all my icons back on the home page. And I spent some time re-adding the old icons and widgets, etc. And I was done. However, I noticed that after the upgrade that the tablet was significantly less responsive. And over time, it just wasn't getting any better, even after multiple reboots. It would often take several seconds to wake up or to use any of the Google Now voice commands, launch any apps, or pull up any of the recent programs. And from time to time, the whole tablet just froze up and became unresponsive, even after using programs to free up memory or hard drive space. And I even had roughly eight gigabytes free on my 16 gig uh, uh, tablet. And I never really had these issues with this tablet before over the entire two year period that I've owned it. I bought it in August of, two, of uh, 2012, and it's already uh, November of uh, 2014 and while I had some friends who complained of some sluggishness uh, on their original Nexus 7 tablet you know over the years I was fortunate enough to never really have that issue until this upgrade so I've had a busy week at work and a hectic one at home so I didn't really have a lot of time to play with the tablet that much and with it being so laggy honestly I wasn't really enthusiastic to uh, uh, keep using it so I haven't used it that much to be honest but uh, finally today, I broke down and I tried spending some time troubleshooting the issue, but nothing I, I could do was helping. Plenty of hard drive space free. I used you know programs to free up you know resources, and uh, it was just nothing was working, and it was just significantly worse than it was just before the upgrade. And I was tempted to switch to another launcher, or maybe even flash a different image entirely, or possibly roll back to Android 4.4 KitKat. But I like the experience that I'm having with the Google Now Launcher using the Lollipop system UI. So I decided to ask for help on the internet. So I went on to Google Plus and I uh, went to the Nexus community, something I've been a part of for well over a year. And I asked, you know, honestly, what should I do, you know, in the Nexus 7 forums uh, underneath that or sub community, I guess that's what they call it. Anyways, I was given a few suggestions, you know, really quickly by several people. And uh, after weighing all the different options that were presented, I decided to go with a factory reset of the tablet, which is a feature that's been built into Android for years. And you just click a few buttons and then let it go. And so that's what I decided to do. So this process of doing the factory reset took about 10 minutes from the time I essentially pushed that last button to the time uh, that I got to uh, walk through the setup process. It took about 10 minutes to essentially roll through all that and then reboot and then do everything and I think it rebooted a second time and then when it was done I was left with the setup screen and all told that was a 10 minute uh, process so I basically had when it was all said and done a brand new two-year-old Android tablet <laughs> and uh, I, one of the things I did incidentally during the setup process was I used this tap and go feature where I essentially grabbed my Nexus 7 tablet and I bumped it up against my Nexus 4 smartphone and it basically beeped and then it moved all my uh, uh, stuff from the smartphone onto the tablet. So I moved things like the Google account details, it synchronized configuration settings, data, apps, and widgets. And it took about 30 minutes to do all that and download everything. And then essentially what I had was everything that was on my smartphone mirrored onto my Android tablet, which is kind of weird. So but not necessarily bad, but it was kind of cool because I use this a lot more than my tablet day to day. I use it for work, other things like that. And uh, anyways, it was kind of cool. So that was an unexpected benefit of this whole process. So then what I did over the next hour was I essentially opened up all my apps that were in, now installed on this uh, tablet from A to Z. I literally opened up the application uh, drawer and just opened up all the programs just to kind of get them to set up, you know, set themselves up and log into them all, etc. And just over time, you know, I was watching YouTube videos and just sort of mindlessly clicking on buttons and, <laughs> and agreeing to all the terms as usual. And uh, it, it wasn't long before I had a fully functional tablet again. 
And, you know, my motivation for doing all, all this, you know, I could have easily just said, screw it, I'm just going to get another tablet. But I, I can't just mindlessly afford, you know, to just buy stuff here and there just because something isn't working the way I want it to. So I spent a little bit of time and it was worth it. But this tablet has been an indispensable tool for me and a media consumption device for the last two years since I've purchased it. And it's still, even today, a daily part of my life, particularly after I get home from a long day of work, I do a reading on it, I watch videos, stuff like that, I even check Google Plus and Facebook and, and stuff like that. So it for me this whole process has been well worth it. And it's and this tablet is back to running as well as it did on Android uh, 4.4 KitKat, which uh, to me has been the penultimate version of Android on this tablet and really on any Android device that I've worked. I, I can't describe just how how enjoyable this tablet, even though it's two years old, how how useful it's been to me. And you'll find other people online talk similarly about their Nexus 7. So here are my thoughts after this process. In my opinion, the material design is still a little bit more noticeable in terms of, you know, the transitions, you know, from opening one thing or moving from one thing to another. It's a little bit more noticeable in terms of, I wouldn't say it's laggy per se, but it's more perceptible, you know, the, the transitions than Holo or Holo was, you know, with, you know, between ice cream sandwich you know, and KitKat uh, on this tablet and my smartphone. So it's a little bit of a different experience, but to me it's more enjoyable, particularly because it's fresh and new. But it's way more responsive than it was before. And honestly, it's I would say it's right up there in terms of responsiveness to how it was on your KitKat, which, as said before, is really the best experience that I've ever had on, a, on an Android device. And that I'm still having this experience on the original Nexus 7 tablet. I, I just can't uh, speak highly enough about that. So, in my opinion, anyone that's having issues with their maybe uh, original Nexus 7, maybe the Nexus 4 or second generation Nexus 7 tablet, or maybe some other device that's maybe a little bit old, honestly, just do a factory reset, you know, back up everything, do a factory reset, go through the whole process, just kind of enjoy it. You don't get to do this very often, just kind of enjoy the experience. And I think it might help you breathe some life into your uh, Android phone or tablet. So if you can't, also this is a good alternative to upgrading. Like if you don't want to spend two, three hundred bucks or more on a new, you know, tablet or even more on a new smartphone, you know, the device you have right now, you know, can be refreshed and be, be like new again. So I'm just going to throw that out there. So in particular, if you have this issue on your device, on your Nexus device in particular, I guess, after the upgrade to Android 5.0 Lollipop, back up what you have on the device to like Drive or Dropbox or any other cloud storage option of your choice, you know, if it's not already, and then start from a clean slate. Uh, I can't highly recommend this enough. So also, if you want to read my Google Plus exchange that I had in, the, in that community, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So I hope this video has been, has been informative or helpful in some way to you. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.